What is metadata? Metadata is data that provides information about data. Confused? We'll explain. Simple examples exist. For a letter, it's the address on the outside of the envelope. Or the music genre your favorite song is listed under. But with more sophisticated technologies, metadata reveals so much more than just where the communication is addressed to and who it is from. The identity of the sender is metadata. The identity of the receiver is metadata. The size of the message is metadata. The type of message is metadata. The location of the server that sent the message, metadata. The location of the receiving server, metadata. Metadata is necessary for the function of communications networks. But metadata is very revealing and less protected under the law than other types of data, such as content. Governments are keen to access metadata because of its value, but are also keen to ensure that there are few obstacles, if any, to getting access. As the UN's Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights says, the aggregation of information, commonly referred to as metadata, may give an insight into an individual's behavior, social relationships, private preferences, and identity that go beyond even that conveyed by accessing the content of a private communication. It is now becoming clear to many that the current situation of lower protections for metadata is unsustainable. Open up the support and document Metadata Protections Around the World. Notice how the treatment of metadata has changed over time in the United States of America. From no expectation of privacy and the numbers dialed into the landline system to each application under this section shall be made to a judge for the production of call detail records. No expectation of privacy meant that the court found there was no constitutional protection for metadata. Because of this, Congress decided to apply protections which would require, in some cases, judges to approve access to metadata. In other countries, such protection for similar information doesn't exist. In Hong Kong, law enforcement agencies can request metadata directly from local or overseas internet providers without going to a judge. In other countries, no distinction exists between metadata and content for the wrong reasons like Qatar's Article 63 of the Telecommunications Law. The question that needs to be asked now is, if metadata is so revealing, how do we raise the level of protection attached to metadata? As you will see in the next lesson, the insight gained from metadata is striking. and means this discussion urgently needs to take place.